So let me show you how easy it is to make a meta human playable. You're going to just start by duplicating your meta human. Let's call this PV Playable Kratos. I'm going to open it up. And if you just recently imported your meta human, the first thing you want to do is just go fix this. Just switch this to one and the force LED to zero. Then next up, you're going to go to class settings and you're going to click on parent class and you're going to say PP third person character. So obviously, if you don't have the third person character, you can just click here, add feature or content pack and click on third person. So then it will show up. The next step is very easy. You're going to take your root and drag it directly underneath the mesh. And then you're going to go here to library target and say use library target mode. And then you're going to click this to true. So you'll see it starts copying the animations of the third person mannequin. So next up, we're going to go ahead and click on the root again. And you're just going to reset the position. That will match it up. Now we're going to click on the mesh and search for viz. Then uncheck visible and visibility based tick option. We're going to set on tick pose and refresh boats. Next up, you're going to go to the event graph and you're just going to click here, right click on the begin play and say add call to parent function. And you're just going to set it up there. So now we can compile, save, and you'll see that it will work. Open this up and our world settings. Just go to playable Kratos. So now if we press play, we will have our model ready to go. And there we go. So there is a longer way to do this. And that's by retargeting all the animations directly to your meta human body and setting up an animation blueprint. So if you are interested in a tutorial like that, let me know and I can set it up for us.